to the Movie Planet's bonus show. All of the bloopers, outtakes, and discussions that have nothing to do with the movie of the week, well, we decided let's make a show of that too. Enjoy. In case you've not been on the voodoo lately, here is what's available to you now. Uh, okay. Elvis is on there. Okay. Uh, History of the World Part 1, Demolition Man. Oh, it's been a long time. Yes. The Animatrix is on there. No, okay. Blade Runner. No, I haven't seen it. Blade Runner no. and the new Blade Runner movie. Uh, Jurassic World okay. Dominion is on there. Why? Because I, I had to get it to round out my collection. <laughs> uh, Memento. Oh, God. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. I, Reservoir Dogs is good. Let me go back to Memento okay. for a second. I don't... I, I think I've seen this, but when it first... This is when I used to work at the video store. Yeah. And that movie came out, and I got it ahead of time because my... My dad was just like, well, get us a movie for the weekend, you know, just, and I was like, well, this hasn't been released. You know, I can take these new ones we haven't put out yet and, you know, watch them ahead of time. And I left it at home. I think I went out that night and he watched it and he said it was the worst movie he's ever seen <laughs> because it started backwards yep. and went forwards. Yeah. And his at that time, his word was gospel. So I thought, I'm never going to watch this movie because it's just pure crap. And it now becomes a family punchline. Hey, remember that movie Memento? Ugh. Just like, remember that movie <laughs> Seabiscuit? Because at the end of Seabiscuit, my dad had mild heart um, chest pains and ended up having to go to the hospital and had a mild heart attack. Oh, my God. Said, oh, how about that movie? How about that movie Seabiscuit? It's a real heartbreaker, wasn't it? Uh <laughs> And he'll, go, he'll look at me and goes, you asshole. <laughs> I've also recently put on their speed. Okay. The Rock. Oh, with Nick Cage. Yep. Have you seen yep, Chronicle? The what? Have you seen Chronicle? No. Chronicle is a found footage movie about three kids who interact with something that they found in the woods, and they all end up with super uh, powers, but one of them goes evil on them. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, I hate to say it, but it has an 85% Rotten Tomato score. It's a movie? Yeah. It almost sounds like a documentary. Well, it's done in documentary form. Okay. Yeah. All right. The kids, it's all, it's found footage. I like that. Yeah. Okay. And finally, because I, and I saw this and I was like, I must get this strictly for Steve. <laughs> Hulk. Not the Incredible Hulk. The Ang Lee. The Ang Lee Hulk. <laughs> oh, God. That and, was my first experience with Hulk. And because, you know, I make my lists of where mm -hmm. it belongs, Hulk is in Marvel Ultimate Viewing right before Iron Man. Because remember, the beginning oh. of The Incredible Hulk tells a story yeah. about what happened in Hulk. Yes. Yep. Yep. So now we got it. No, that's that's the origin. There you go. Yeah, mm. others that are in there: Electra and Daredevil. <sighs> oh, Steve, Daredevil! I have the extended edition in there, the director's cut. You got to watch that; it's so much better. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And I've never seen Electra. <clears throat> that's just Jennifer Garner eye candy. Yeah. <laughs> That would be like watching it new again. That's how long ago I've seen it. The CGI is so bad in it now. <laughs> it's so bad. What year was it? 2003. Well, that's two years before Constantine. Yeah. So am I going to get that in Constantine? No. <laughs> Constantine is, first of all, better in every way. <laughs> but secondly, doesn't have one character who is all CGI and then there's Hulk dogs. Oh, stop talking. You remember that, Hulk don't you? Dog? No, I don't. You don't remember the Hulk dogs? No. <laughs> like I said, it would be new if I saw that. God dang it. There's there's some good things. Jennifer Connelly is the Betty Ross. I like you, Jennifer Connelly. Um, I believe William Hurt is, no, Sam Shepard is General Ross. Kind of want to watch this now. 
Sam Shepard is that. And then Hulk's father is... Hold on, let's see. Jennifer Conley, Betty Ross, Sam Elliott. Sam Elliott, that's what I'm talking about, Sam Elliott. Yep. And the father is Nick Nolte. Yes. (laughs) The guy talks like this. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, gosh. This was the the OG. Lou Lou Figueroa. I can't pronounce his last name. As a a security guard. Yes. And he also is in The Incredible Hulk as a security guard. Mm Mm-hmm. Maybe I watched this over Constantine. Nope. No, Steve, you watch <laughs> Constantine and you enjoy that because when you watch Hulk, I want you to set a timer for yourself. And when you decide to stop the movie because of how ridiculous it is, I want to know how long time has passed. I look at this cast. Well, not, not the cast, but the characters. Yeah. Who the hell's the villain? Talbot? I don't. I, I don't even know. You can't. I can't even like just looking at the names. I don't even know who the villain. Like, okay, so the villain is twofold. The villain is General Ross, obviously. Okay. Because he's always Hulk's villain. Mm-hmm. And Hulk's father. No abomination. Nope. Yeah, his father, David Banner. That's the uh, the bad guy at the very end. Mm. But the very end piece here is. In the Amazon rainforest, Bruce is alive and in exile as a medical camp doctor. His camp gets overrun by soldiers who try to steal their supplies. Bruce warns the commander, you're making me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And then the Hulk bellows. And that's where it ends, which is fi- why it picks up where he is in South say, America. Yeah. yeah. Later on. So this is the Ooh. prequel to The Incredible Hulk. It is. It is, Steve. That whole montage at the beginning title sequence that you didn't pay attention to anything on, just watch this movie and now you'll get it. Oh. I don't watch title sequences. I go, it's when I make my sandwich. I just <laughs> That was so early titles. on when you didn't even know to pay attention to every detail. <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, Constantine tonight. Yes, I want to report tomorrow. <laughs> Hulk, Hulk will be this week. I can't wait and... for you to watch that. And then I'm going to go to the Pantheons and do some do some diving and find some, pick a movie that's where the Pantheon is filled. Yep. And if there's some borderline movies that I haven't seen, there we go. I mean, I'll always encourage you to watch whatever you've never seen before. Yeah. I'm trying to see, do I have... Okay, copy of the Pantheons. Hell, I may watch Constantine tonight. Okay, biopics not full. Comedy. What the hell is this? The unbearable weight of massive talent? That's the Nicolas Cage movie where he plays himself. Caitlin and I did that movie two weeks ago. Yeah, I see that. That's a new movie, 2022. Yep. Okay. Well, well, well. Oh, Oh, that's a huge gap. That ain't going to happen. What gap? Um, I was looking at the uh, um, epic fantasy. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) And, I mean, I would love to revisit the entire Lord of the Rings saga. Don't get me wrong. But Jamie's not about any of that. If you revisit it, Steve. That's that's tough. It's got to be the extended versions. I have the extended versions of the first three. Yeah. I don't have the extended version of The Hobbits. They're they're actually more watchable. Oh, here are some that are right on the border that I don't have a grade for. What's that? Oh, the horror genre. <laughs> oh, yes, Steve. There is a lot in there that you've never said anything about. The Fly which I absolutely loved. Yes. Evil Dead. Mm-hmm. Ca- uh, um, Jaws. Jaws, the horror movie that's rated PG. I'll never get over that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a crap load that are border here. Carrie, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, Poltergeist, The Ring. I, did, I already gave a break for that. Yeah, you did. Um, I've never seen the thing. Uh, the 82 thing or the 2011 thing? Either, 
Either of them. Either of them. Okay. So, the 2011 thing is the first movie. The 82 thing is the second movie. Well, that makes sense. The 82 one they made, it was a classic, and then they made the mm-hmm. 2011 one to be a prequel to it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Meant, meant, definitely meant to be watched in the reverse order. It is seamless. It literally, the, the 82 thing picks up literally seconds after the 2011 thing ends. There's a dog that runs from the camp, and then the movie starts with a dog running towards another camp. <laughs> like, well, <laughs> shit, okay. <laughs> um, I want to get some mafia movies in there too. I want to do The Godfather. I can't. Or military that. westerns. I can't believe West, westerns will be tough to fill out. I mean, I want to do uh, Tombstone. That's a great one. That's watchable. So, yeah. Um, the only other Western that I know I liked, I haven't seen in a while, is The Quick of the Dead. Hateful Eight? Never seen it. Django Unchained? Never seen it. See, there's some sneaky ones in there that are Quentin Tarantino movies. You can be like, oh, there we go. Yeah. Magnificent Wyatt Seven. Wide Earp. Um, and then there's the franchises, Steve. Hunger Games? Wow. Well. I've only seen the first one, and I, I thought it ended great. I didn't want to see another one after that. See James Bond? <laughs> All 56 of them? No. If we were to ever do the James <laughs> Bond ones, we would do it by the actor who played it. Because the Daniel Craig James Bonds are all one story. Oh, right. I... Hmm. I might have to look at some of these global killers. Why? Why? What like, changes would like, you make? Like Waterworld. <laughs> oh, you need to watch Waterworld, my friend, because you've you've clearly remembered that in a different light than the rest of the world. Steve, there's an alien whale. <laughs> Where did it come from? Were they on Earth? <laughs> How do they know where they are? The ocean goes in all directions. <laughs> A really big ocean. Um, <laughs> the man flies away at the beginning, and two hours later, he shows up again. How is he staying up there the whole time? God. It's the greatest I, bungee cord moment ever in yeah, cinema. Yeah, that's right. I remember now yeah, that I remember. Well, maybe that maybe the, maybe in a, a month or so after you've done some more of these, can like, what are your new grades for some of these movies? Or what are your grades for these movies? Oh, well, for what? Any oh, of them that you the, see. Any of them that I see? Any um, of them that you've never given a grade to, like uh, Major League. God, it's, oh, oh, well, see, I'm now looking at the comedies right now. Uh, Caddyshack, haven't seen in a while. Mean Girls, never seen. <laughs> Major League, it's been too long. Ghostbusters, why hasn't Ghostbusters 2 been done? Because that's a freaking A. <laughs> um <laughs> It is legal. <laughs> it's not an A. It's the Scolari brothers. The Statue of Liberty cannot move like that. It's got booze. It's like a lubricant. It's, it can't change the fact that it's not two legs going up a dress. It is a sculpture. It is... You can't excuse this, Steve. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> Any of these John Wicks, I'd want to rewatch them. Well, you got a lot of action adventure here. Let's see. Oh, we've killed a lot. Never seen Point Break. Oh, Mad Max. Wait till we do the Fast and Furious movies. <sighs> or Lethal Weapon. I want to do Lethal Weapons. Yeah. Those are awesome. Mm-hmm. I just watched all four of those about two months ago, and I was like, God, these are still good. Indiana Jones. 
that's where I, the, I action adventure is going to slowly turn into the comic book where you can kind of start kicking out A's. Yeah, probably. That's why I want to get some of these other ones in there. I know. I want to round out some of this shit. Oh, yeah, you got them all listed below here. Kill Bills. Yeah, just ideas for what they could be. Mm-hmm. These are the ones that I thought of, but if you think of any you want to add to the bomb also, they're like, oh, let's put that on there. So next time I look at it, I can be like, oh, I want that one. Like Superman, oh. like Superman 3. Oh, I can't edit. Damn it. You can't edit? Uh, no, it's you only. That's fine. Which one do you want to write? Add I was going to write in Encanto. <laughs> for the animated Pantheon? For the, for the... Animated, right? Animated. Animated, yep. Put that there. Encanto. What do we got for biopics? Oh, Braveheart. I've never seen Zero Dark Thirty. I heard that's amazing. It is awesome. <clears throat> Social Network's great. The Wolf of Wall Street. Rocket Man? Yeah, that's the Elton John movie. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Bohemian Rhapsody. I, I was thinking of a different Rocket Man. Which Rocket Man were you thinking of? It was a comedy done in the 90s. Oh, oh Jesus. My. No, not that one. <laughs> oh, I remember. You're thinking of The Rocketeer. No, that's another great one. <laughs> that movie sucked. No, no Rocket Man. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's I can't remember who's in it. It's some doofus. Wait, was it the same guy oh. in Dumb and Dumber who was the cop who drank the piss? Yes, it was. Yep. Yes, it was. <laughs> Rocket Man 1997. 1990. Harlan Williams, that's his name. I yeah, never saw that. Oh, there's a. Where's the comedy one? Let's keep going. I want to see if you got that in there because that would be one I'd want to add. Rocket Man? Uh, no. Um, half baked. Oh, half baked. Okay. <laughs> half baked. It's in there. If we're going to do that, then I'm going to say uh, Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. Days to Confuse. Where would you put that? Well, I would put it in comedy, but you could make a case that it is a drama. Yeah, you could. That's why. I... Um, Yeah, it, it, it's one of those. Uh, it's probably why it'll receive such a high grade. It transcends all things. That would be, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that would be a very fun one to do with Caitlin. Days of Confused? Yes. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I am now at Oh, the Crime Pantheon. Town. Nice guys. I like confidential. Oh, since 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't put Ocean's 8 in there. Was that the new one with the ladies? Yeah. It was pretty oh. good. I'll swear by it. Let's see. Documentary. You have nothing in documentary. I Holy got Holy crap. Blackfish, Super Size Me, The 30 for 30 on O.J. Simpson, which won the Academy Award for Best Documentary that year. Yeah. Won't You Be My Neighbor, the Mr. Rogers documentary. I probably put Again. in there RBG. That was a good one on Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Oh. That's what I'll do with Caitlin. Yeah. She'll be all about that one. Yeah. The only one I've seen is Super Size Me. Oh, yeah. I, that's probably the most popular one. I can't Black, think of anything else. Blackfish is the one that basically took the mantle and was like, no, 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 this is the one to watch. Mm. That's a, that's about the... Oh, that's the Shamu. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The Unbreakable Trilogy. The Unbreakable? <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's in the uh, drama mm. pantheon. Oh, Shawshank and suck it. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I saw that once and thought it was terrible. Steve, look to the right. The dark crystal. Yeah. What is Immortals? Oh, Immortals is Henry Cavill as Perseus. No, as Theseus. Greek mythology. Oh. 
Oh, which brings up Clash of the Titans. And the Wrath, original? Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans. And the Clash of the Titans OG. The one done in like the 70s? Yes. With the... With the uh... So the first Clash of the Titans is the one with Liam Neeson. As Zeus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the one, that's the one I saw. I haven't seen the other ones. Oh my God. How can I forget this? In the epic fantasy, Harry Potter. Oh, the Pothead movies. The Pothead yeah. movie. Harry Potter... Octology. See, there's plenty to do. Yeah. It's just kind of time to do it. I understand. Well, that's the thing is that there will never be a point where we're like, oh, we've run out of ideas. No. Because <sighs> by the time that does happen, I'm sure there's f- films that we've said that we haven't really won't do in a year or two that will now pop up. Yep. I just added Scream to the list. Uh, okay. The family films... Uh oh, what um the in- oh incredible journey. Uh, you mean Homeward correct. Bound? Homeward Bound, thank you. Yes, Homeward Bound is hey. going on there. <laughs> That's definitely family right there. Absolutely. That scene at the end with Shadow will get you every time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a sassy one. <laughs> <laughs> um, what other family films? <clears throat> Sandlot. Yeah, I just recently saw that. Well, would you put that in sports or family? Well, it's a sh- it's a movie for the f- whole family. <clears throat> the baseball is just like the backdrop to all the fun th- stuff that they do outside of baseball. Yeah, the pool scene. Like, no one remembers the baseball scenes. They remember the pool scene. They remember the yeah. beast uh, across the fence. They don't, no one, no one remembers the baseball. <laughs> yeah, the beast. Right. <laughs> Horror movies. Oh, the monster squad. Wouldn't that go in family? Uh, yeah, I don't really want to put that in horror. Would well, that go in family? Family film? Well, it would definitely not make the horror pantheon. Werewolves got nards. It would not not make the it would not make the horror pantheon. There's no way. Monster There's Squad. There's no way Sam would put that above all those. Would Monster <laughs> Squad make it above Gremlins? Where do I see? Oh, what are you in family? Yep. Oh, okay. I was looking at horror. <sighs> I would most certainly like to think so. <laughs> would it make it above National Treasure? Uh, there we go. We found its zone. So its zone yes, is within yes. the Pantheon, so it could push Book of Secrets, Secrets rightfully out. I mean, nothing would make me happier than to have Monster Squad knock out Darby O'Gill and the little people. <laughs> That's funny since you decided to quote Darby O'Gill the other day on Facebook. Didn't even notice that till you mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> that song is directly from the movie. <laughs> I had no idea. I just thought that was a really nice quote. <laughs> I thought I was like, huh, look at that. <laughs> I got one for your mob gangster. Oh. Dick Tracy. Ah, wouldn't that be comic book? It wouldn't make that. <laughs> it wouldn't make the list. <laughs> I'll put Dick Tracy on it. Oh. <laughs> Feel dirty putting it there. Dick Tracy. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't... Donnie Brasco. Never seen it. Really good. Uh, I'm trying to think. Bronx Tale. Never seen it. Land Before Time. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I gotta go back and re- refresh my memory. You need to see these movies before you die. You need to see. Well, then we uh, kick out maybe. Dick Tracy and Monster Squad. No, you need to see freaking Dick Tracy. <laughs> Dick Tracy's great. Dick Tracy was nominated for an Academy Award. Damn right it was. 
I believe it was Al Pacino was nominated. I was going to say he's the Frank Langella of that movie. The so Frank I Langella. I got my thing. <laughs> the movie's so shit. That's the one shining bright star. Is Dick Tracy movie. might make the global killer pantheon, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a shame it won't have Masters of the Universe there with it. No, because that doesn't belong in... It absolutely belongs there. No, it doesn't. It's bad. It's... No. Steve, gonna, you gave it no. a D plus. And I think it doesn't... Get, I, no, For, Frank does not deserve to be in the global killer. No. Listen, there are some wonderful villains in some shit movies. There are... Look at the global killers. They all have memorable villains. They can put the rest of you in a jar. Yeah. Or Rocky, horror picture. The, the, the villain is Dr. Frankenfurter. The Matrix Revolutions, uh, yeah. the, it's, the, it's the artificial intelligence itself. They are all great villains. Solo has... Who was the villain in Solo? Lady, <laughs> Lady Proxima. They, well, that was at the beginning. Beckett, no. No, no, not... Well, be, huh. Who was oh, who was Vision in that? It was the guy that plays I Vision, know. Paul Bettany's character. Paul Bettany, I, I know, I can't remember. And Dominion, it was Dodgson, Tim Cook from Apple. <laughs> Dodson, why? He's a two-minute character, but he's a main thing in this. Dodson, we've got Dodsons here. He's made. <sighs> See, nobody cares. Nobody nice, cares. Nice hat. What are you, a secret agent? We get Nedry's laughing. All there. right. Yeah. <laughs> Laughs like a velociraptor. Yeah, I'll tell you right now, I do not want to have Dilophosaurus sushi. No, you don't want that? No. You don't want to feel your tongue go numb, numb and you lose your eyesight for a little bit? Or I did want a T-Rex burger, though. Yeah, some, some bacon. <laughs> T-Rex bacon. <laughs> all on a stegosaurus size plate so far I've only been able to I, the only one I haven't been able to get through all the way was the Halle Berry water that's the only oh. one I, that's the only one I haven't been able to get through all the way without laughing my ass off gotcha yeah that was in John Wick 3 though see I never saw John Wick 3 so you didn't that listen was to what it. that was Parabellum yeah so you, haven't, so you haven't listened to that I, one yet I haven't seen the movie right no I haven't yeah. So when you finally watch that movie and how amazing it is, because I believe it's even better than the other two. Um, there is one. Not right. What your grade says? No, because I love it, but I had to be honest with what the grade was. Okay. But in my heart of hearts, it's the one I enjoy the most. But there's a scene where Halle Berry leaves John Wick in the desert and hands him a bottle of water, but before she hands it to him, she drinks the water, swirls it around her mouth, spits it back in there, and then hands it to him. Mm. And so the ad is for Halle Berry water. Oh, okay. Yeah, where Halle Berry will spit in the water for it, because Sam and I were both like, we would both drink her water. But Halle Berry water, where, was, we, where we spit, not swallow. Well, <laughs> It gets no. I go so. Here's the thing. I call it berry water, and I've got this wonderful serene water ad stuff going on, like try our Fiji mm -hmm. water, shit like that. And yeah. it's like, want to quench your thirst with the enzymes of a hottie? <laughs> <laughs> it's like kissing a waterfall that's a little thicker and probably taste of the dinner she had the night before. If you plan on a long trip by yourself and you're into that kind of kink, try berry water. And for a limited time, this is where I, I can't. <laughs> and for a limited time, try our <clears throat> try our newest water flavor. <laughs> you might have to type it in there. I can't do it. <laughs> time <laughs> try our newest water flavor Melissa McCarthy's labia sweat fresh from oh a run <laughs> fresh from a run and into your tum tum <laughs> oh. 
Sunshine Falls, pure hydration, pure obsession, in pure inspiration. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Sam was laughing. He was like, I you couldn't get through that. Could I, I took like I cut out like two minutes of me laughing hysterically because I just couldn't do it. It's the only one I've broken on. <laughs> and I and I'm the one that wrote it. <laughs> Might have to have somebody else read that one. Well, that's my next step is I'm going to start ambushing you guys with ad reads where you've got to do the ad read yourself. God, I'll tell you, you do it. You do it so fluid. It's so, <laughs> it's so fluid. It's almost like people are going to start hearing these podcasts and they're going to hear you say that and be like, we want him to promote our shit. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> And but, then you're gonna you're gonna get a DM from Smooth Balls. Smooth ball, smooth my balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna start like when you guys are on the show. Be like, okay, hey, I'm gonna do the first one. You do the second one. I've already written it for you. You just gotta read it when the music starts, and you gotta yeah. get through it before okay. the music ends. That could All be right. fun. That could be fun. That, that'd be a nice little challenge. Because then my goal is how can can I make my co-host break? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just spring it on them. Yeah, just that's how you got to do it. Yeah. Sam, like, can you oh, read this? I'm going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and go. <laughs> well, listen, man. I got to roll out. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm going to do Constantine, which is a two-hour movie. Yep. You're going to enjoy that. That's-